Joining us now, Florida Representative Brian Mast from House Foreign Affairs. Congressman, it's great to see you. Okay, we're hearing reports that Democrat Gregory Meeks, that he made these changes to a piece of legislation about China, undercutting national security issues, putting in an $8 billion climate change slush fund that could benefit China. What's going on here? Yeah, that's exactly right. We're in the midst of probably the largest piece of combating China legislation, or it's supposed to be combating China legislation. We're marking it up as we speak. And in this legislation, dollars that were going in there to help combat China's influence were taken out. And literally, uh, you know, a multi-billion dollar UN slush fund, of which the dollars are going to go to China in many cases, because uh, this is a climate slush fund is what it really is. They're going to go there and they're going to aid China. So what we're really saying is we're going to be so tough on China that we're going to send them more dollars to buy their solar panels and, and help them get out of the situations that they put themselves in. That's how tough we're going to be on China. That's what this bill is saying. Yeah, but... Why do Democrats think that China needs a slush fund? I mean, China uses forced labor in its prison camps to make its green energy products. Are Democrats talking about any of this? There's very little conversation about any of that. You know, when I'm here in Washington and I can't figure out why something is or is not happening, what I generally do is try to follow the dollars. And I think you could talk about this, whether you're talking about big tech or whether you're talking about who's building some of these power systems like solar panels, and you say, they have huge influence, huge investments in countries like China. They don't want to see any talking bad about China, the origins of COVID, them stealing intellectual property or plans to F-15s or, or F-35s or anything else. They don't want to talk about those things, and they want to get members of Congress to not talk about those things. Why? Because they might hurt their investment in, the, in that huge market of China. And, and that's why I look at this as probably emerging into that. Uh, we've seen them pander to big tech before. It's not surprising that they're pandering to, to big climate in the same way. Okay, we hear you, but why China? I mean, why would China, Why would they let China benefit off of it? I mean, you know what I mean? So because there are, there's already this Green Climate Fund over at the United Nations, and I think Congressman Meeks is talking about $4 billion in 2020-22, and then 2023, uh, another $4 billion. They've already, China's already pulled out $100 million bucks from that fund. Um, they were thought to be using it to cut greenhouse gas emissions. Nobody's got evidence of that. So, uh, so why, I, we, I still, again and again, why is, it seems like Democrats are rolling over about China. Well, they are rolling over about China, but you're saying this as though, oh, they, they've got so much already, why would they even try to get more? The, the answer for them is always more. The answer for them is global domination. It's like the game of risk, and they're playing that game very, very well, whether it's getting those dollars out of the UN, whether it's taking over ports around the world, whether it's expanding their, their blue water navy, they are playing that very serious game of risk, and they're taking any single asset that they can get their hands on. There is, there's not an answer to that there's ever enough. So if they can get uh, $10 billion more out of the UN, green climate slush fund, then they're happy to take that. It strengthens China. It weakens the United okay. States of America that's already $30 trillion in debt. There needs to be some kind of enforcement action taken against the $260 billion in, in waste that's gone out of the SBA in the PPE loans for the pandemic, the $30 billion in jobless uh, benefits fraud coming out of California. There needs to be a criminal action taken in both those instances of of fraud and waste. Uh, something needs to be done because the American people have had it. They're sick and tired of what's going on. And now you have Nancy Pelosi, you know, focusing on the Capitol Riots Select Committee, but not relaunching her own select committee that she had done last year to look into the origins of the pandemic. It just feels like hypocrisy all over the place. And they're talking again and again about defunding cops. Do you see what yeah, I mean? Me the American people are, are over it. Yeah, let me spare you any anticipation about if they're going to change their direction and go 180 degrees the other way. They're not going to do that. They're going to double and triple down on these policies of defunding the police, of supporting China, because, again, follow the dollars where they're going. When you talk about defund the police, follow the dollars of where their political contributions are. When you talk about conservative censorship or censorship on talking about what China's really doing, follow the dollars uh, of where their political contributions are coming from Silicon Valley. Follow the dollars on these places, and you'll see why they're doing these things.
So you're saying green energy money going to China will somehow come back to them in political donations? Absolutely. I don't think that's a question any more than dollars that support something that Silicon Valley wants will come back to them in terms of political contributions. That's 100 percent what I'm saying. Okay, so are other Republicans talking about this along with you guys? I mean, we're not so fatally naive to not know that this is going on. Everybody knows this is an open book. Uh, but the American people, I'm not sure, under, uh, fully understand how D.C. is so swampy and how it rolls. Your final word. <laughs> You use the right word. It's that swampy. My final word on it would be this. The, the foreign affairs of the United States of America, they can't be conducted in this way that we pander to the highest bidder.